Hello everyone. Welcome to the first video of Tech Jockey Tutorials. Today we are going to look at some of the most important tools in Photoshop. Let's begin. If you don't know where your tools are located, they are most likely going to be at the left side of the screen. And all of these tools will have little icons right now. They're probably not making much sense to you. So I'm going to drag them a little closer to us so that we can get a better look at them. So let's begin from the top. The first tool that we are going to look at is the move tool. This tool basically moves objects in the layers on the screen. So if you have a layer selected, as I have this rectangular layer selected here, you can click, hold and drag this rectangle wherever you want. Now, if you hover over each and every tool, you're going to see little letters on the outside of that tool. This is the hotkey. If you don't have anything else selected and you click a key, it's going to select whatever hotkey that tool is set to. The next tool that we're going to talk about is the marquee tool. In this video, we're going to look at the rectangular and elliptical marquee tool. It allows you to select a version of an image. So if we go over to our image here, we will be able to draw our rectangle move it wherever we want to and we can actually delete that part of the image by using that tool. All the marquee tools are ways to select portions of an image. Then you can further edit by using mask or any other tool you want to edit. For that you've got to make sure your layer under the layers panel is unlocked. If it has a lock you're not going to be able to make any changes. So uh, let's go ahead with our freeform marquee tools. There are lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool and magnetic lasso tool. With lasso tool, you'll be able to do the same thing we just did with the rectangular marquee tool, but you'll be actually be able to draw out the shape that you want to select. So I'm drawing around this girl's face. Uh, if it's not a perfect shape like a rectangle or a circle or an ellipse, you can actually go and draw around your own shape and select the type of image that you would like to select. This can be done with the help of lasso or the polygonal lasso tool. Let's move to our next tool now. Uh, the next tool is the quick selection tool. The quick selection tool is an automated tool that allows you to automatically select extremely fine-tuned points in an image. So if you click and hold here, you'll be able to drag it and select very specific areas of that image. If you go here and change that to where you can deselect it, you can do that by going up here and hitting the minus symbol it will allow you to clean up your selection. So if you've seen that you've made a selection that is too far or too little than what you wanted, you can actually take the minus symbol, which is up here. Uh, you can then go down and subtract from that selection. Similarly, if you want to add to that selection, you need to use the addition symbol and you will be able to see your selection getting larger. If you want to remove anything, you can go to the subtraction tool here. All of that can be done with the help of quick selection tool. The next tool that we will be going to talk about is the crop tool. Now the crop tool is pretty simple. You select a part of an image that you want to crop. For example, if you select this part of the image, you'll be able to crop it and then go up to the upper right hand corner. And there you go. You have cropped your image to what you wanted. Let's discuss the next tool that is the brush tool. In order to use the brush tool, you need to make sure that the layer that you're working on is unlocked. Once you've selected the brush tool, there are a few options that you're going to see. The first option will be on the upper hand side of the Photoshop screen or panel. You can select your brush type by clicking on the little folder icon with all the brushes. 
After clicking that, all the brushes and the presets will be available available to you. Photoshop is very comprehensive with this brush tool. You can select any brush and it'll show you what stroke that brush would look like when you actually paint it on your canvas. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the presets there and then you could actually change the opacity of the strokes as well. You can also change a few other options like changing the color of the brush by going up here to the colors panel and selecting a uh, red color for instance and after that you can now paint just like that with your brush and this here is the exact stroke that you have selected in your panel now all of this can be done with the help of brush tool within photoshop the next tool that we are going to be talking about is a very important tool it's the pen tool so pen tool allows you to insert specific points on your canvas and then connecting them together after that by holding them you can create various kinds of curves you can actually draw with this tool you know you can add points manipulate the points move the points and do so much more with the help of just this tool the pen tool is very very efficient in its job and it's the most important tool in photoshop so yeah that's it for the video stay tuned for more such videos from tech jockey tutorials until then like share and subscribe